Hi everybody, I'm just back from doing a show where um, I amused some relatives of Bill Maher, so that's good news. And um, as far as the voiceover audition goes, I got that completely wrong. <laughs> they did not want me to be quirky, they just wanted me to be an old lady. I'm too old to be quirky now. Um, so, I just wish an old lady for him. That showed me that I was a real old lady who didn't understand anything about funny. Um, but getting back to what's important, Michael, when I saw you on the airplane, I got really scared. I thought you were flying away from us forever. And um, I didn't know if you were going to hijack the airplane or something or just disappear from our lives. But I'm glad that you're with us and I'm glad you're in Salt Lake City. Um, my husband and my son just flew to New York today to see Book of Mormon. So I think that there's some kind of synergy going on here, or hopefully not. Um, I'm very happy to see Morgan Murphy. I love you. And Phil, I enjoy that you are trying your damnedest to be sad because I just think it's noble of you. I really do. I think that you're being very kind. And Jim Gaffigan, your exposed brick wall is comely. But I would like to see, um, I would like to hear you without the distortion. I really would, being sincere and genuine. That's my whole thing today because I went and saw my shrink today. And uh, as usual, the breakthrough came at minute 47 in the 15 minute session. And it was that I am faking it in every moment of my life. I'm faking it all the time. And um, I don't want to fake it anymore. I want it to be genuine and I want to, um, when I care about people, I want to tell them that I care about them. And, and, um, and so I guess what I'm saying, Jim Gaffigan, is I care about you. And I care about your exposed brick wall as well. I do. I like it. I like your design style. But um, I'd like to hear you with, without all the bells and whistles. I think it's worth hearing what Jim Gaffigan actually has to say. Who am I? I'm just a nobody. I don't know. Michael Ian Black, if you really feel like you're stifling the desire to smear feces on things, have you ever had a child that wanted to smear feces on things? That usually cures you of that. Maybe your kids are more civilized than mine. Mm -hmm. My piece tonight in the show that I did where I amused Bill Maher's relatives was uh, about doing drugs at Jerry Lewis's 70th birthday party. And um, it really made me nostalgic for those times where you could just throw care to the winds and have a psychedelic experience and, um, and sleep till 12.30. Like you, Sam. Sam, bring, bring it all full circle, around and around. Okay, I should go to bed because the child that's prone to feces smearing is probably going to wake me up very early in the morning. And I also want to know, I'm wondering, why do I look like an American Indian on here? Not that there's a problem with that, but I know I don't have any Cherokee blood. 